you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, so people have been asking me, yo, what do you need to become a digital nomad, right? It's very simple, guys. If you follow the instructions and follow what I tell you, you can become a digital nomad, right? It's not that hard. Plus, if you stay tuned, I'm going to tell you who else is going to win another Udemy course, man. Man, stay tuned. All right, let's get it. All right, so who I am, right? I'm a full stack web developer with over five years of experience. I've been doing this for a while. I actually spent one whole year of just working remotely. So I actually know what the hell I'm talking about. So I know how to survive, you know, without having to go to a job, a little, you know, a little nine to five. No, I have not been in Thailand. No, I have not been in, you know, Colombia. No, I have not been in Czechoslovakia. But I've lived in one of the most expensive cities in the world, which is New York City, with just plain work from remote work. So I actually know what I'm talking about. All right. So first of all, you got to plan things out, you know, do your research where you live. Do your research how much it costs to live there and do your research, you know, how much you're going to earn, you know, as far as a job. And what are you actually going to be doing? Because, you know, you need to plan things out. You cannot try to become a digital nomad and just do whatever you want to do. Just be like, hey, I'm going to become a digital nomad. It doesn't work like that. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I actually heard about this a, a lot of times where, you know, it's like, you know, kids with a little trust fund and, you know, a little baby here and there. And they, they act like, you know they actually digital nomads, but they're living off their parents' little trust fund that they gave them. Well, guys, you're not actually a digital nomad. You're just a leech, somebody leeching off your parents. Like, come on, man. If you're 28, 30 years old, still living off your trust fund and not actually earning anything back, you're just a leech right now in the world. But anyways, man, skills on high demand, right? So what skills can you actually become a you know, an actual digital nomad. Very simple, guys. You got marketing, you know, guys who do HTML emails for people, uh, you know, help them with their SEO, help them with, you know, how to market, uh, you know, get new clients, whatever. Look it up. Trust me, there's a whole bunch of jobs in marketing. Also, graphic artist, designer. Trust me, guys. There's a whole bunch of jobs that you could get, you know, a little $15, $20 here and there, you know, an hour, survive, be able to survive. You know what I mean? Or even if you're really known out here and you're a very known uh, graphic designer or just a plain designer, UX designer, whatever you want to call yourself, you will find jobs out here, right? Web development, of course, the front end, back end, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, PHP, Ruby on Rails, uh, what else, Java, C Sharp, there's a million jobs out here, man, for guys who, you know, they're really good at their skills, and, you know, they could work remotely, right, so then you have drop shipping. what the hell is drop shipping? pretty much is like, you know, you have products, and you're actually, you're not touching any products, what you're actually doing is, you're talking to a, a wholesaler, or, you know, basically somebody who has the products and basically you're promoting the uh, the products either Amazon or eBay whatever right something that I forgot to put out here is affiliate marketing right so affiliate marketing is pretty much like let's say you know somebody has a product and let's say I work for uh, whatever uh, Nike right let's say I work for Nike right so I work for Nike I'm I have a product that I actually want to sell and I'm like you know what man I can't sell this freaking product so I'm gonna put it online and see who else could sell it for me so that's the what the affiliate marketers come in they come in you know basically promote the shit out of a uh, you know either the sneakers whatever it is guys you know and just pretty much you they get a little commission right so they get a little 20 percent a little three percent Amazon got a, an affiliate marketing uh, links uh, but yeah, you make a little something, right? And able to survive, right? A lot of people, they make a lot of money, but that's on you. 
that depends on how you want to do your business and how much you you're actually putting in you know how much work you're actually putting in but yeah then you got applications developer then you got virtual assistant you know there's a whole bunch of jobs for you know virtual assistants like let's say an example somebody wants um you know they have an excel sheet right and they need somebody to just keep it up to date with whatever their items they're selling or you know it could be a whole bunch of different situations but you could get hired to do that little thing like come on who can't mess around with excel sheets or setting up appointments for people like come on anybody could do this right so that's one thing another thing is being able to survive in any situation right you guys gotta understand sometimes you know life hits you with a, a freaking left punch and that you was not expecting you might be in in Thailand you might just be in Colombia you might just be in Puerto Rico you might just be in Florida like and next thing you know you might get sick out there be able to survive and know where things is at and just like you know roll with the punches that's a big part of being a digital nomad sometimes you might be a, an affiliate marketer that month might not be that good you might actually lose money while you're trying to promote a certain product or like let's say you're you have a store on eBay or Amazon for whatever reason uh, you send three thousand dollars worth of products and now now that you sell those products somebody decides to be like hey this was stolen credit card right now you're lost out on, on that money a lot of times shit like that happens you know so being able to roll with the punches like is super essential right all right so let's go to the next one understand what you are getting yourself into understand that not everybody's going to be able to do this this is not for every single person out there it has to be a certain type of person who is just adventurous who pretty much is like doesn't have responsibilities of something like tying them in somewhere like if you have a mortgage digital nomad is not for you if you have something like a car payment that's tying you down digital nomad is not for you man you have kids digital nomad is not for you because at the same time remember you gotta take care of that kid you gotta you know put in you know put in those hours or if you want to be a deadbeat dad or <laughs> deadbeat mom then that's on you but sometimes man being a digital nomad is not easy so you have to understand what the hell you're getting yourself into it's perfect for single people it's perfect for people who are straight out of college and they're like hey I want to take two three years of just traveling and being able to survive hey more power to you okay just do your thing but understand that it's not for everybody all right all right so know how to manage your money man listen I've heard stories of people stuck you know that they go to freaking Thailand or they go to like somewhere like Colombia and they think hey I'm just gonna survive with six hundred seven hundred dollars a month I have five thousand dollars I'm going to be able to take you know take this over there take my flight and survive with this money for a whole year people think that but then they forget about the the little things you know because people want to be going to clubs people want to be going to party with the girls and people want to be going to you know letty boy freaking bars whatever you guys want to be doing over there right so all that shit costs money man there's gonna be you know women that's gonna be right next to you the whole time they're like oh yeah baby I love you this and that but in reality they there because of your money and they there because you're a foreigner right so all that shit is gonna cost you money people's not gonna wanna be around you if you're broke especially in a third world country they're gonna be looking at you like you're what the hell are you doing here looking like a bum you know what I mean so what you're going to try to do is try to keep up with other guys who actually do have money either have businesses or they actually you know trust fund babies man and you know like if you're 
a self-made person and you're trying to keep up with you know trust from baby you're gonna lose man because there's a lot of them out here you know they act like they're digital nomads or they're you know self-made but nobody knows their real you know their real story are they really making that much money some of them are some of them are not some of them are just hey their parents left them half a million dollars in a bank account and like now they could just fucking live it up for the next 10 years and then once that that money goes away then decided you know they decide to hey go back to the US and be like oh yeah I was just trying to find myself you know that's what happens a lot of times so for you who is a self-made person trying to keep up in a third world country like man you're going to see some some crazy shits out there man all right so know how to manage your money man know how much you know things cost in that country or wherever you decide to go or whatever state you decide to go make sure to know that hey how to get things cheap how to you know extend your money make it last longer don't think that everything's gonna be sweet in the beginning it takes time so to survive you need money so don't think hey I'm leaving to Thailand with twenty thousand dollars I could survive for the next three years no because you're gonna waste that money you know what I mean so make sure you have some income coming in don't just go over there just because you got twenty thousand dollars on you okay guys now have an exit plan man the last thing you wanna do man is being stuck somewhere man last thing you want to do is let's say you're <laughs> you're in Czechoslovakia somewhere and you just finish you know finish putting in your last little bit of money into buying some products and you're like yeah man this is my last four hundred dollars man I've heard this other guy from from YouTube he made it with his last two hundred dollars and I could do it man life is a bitch so life is gonna throw you some curveballs you know what I mean while you was thinking, hey, with this $400, I could make my money back, things go sour, and then next thing you know, you're over there fighting for your life. Meaning, like, literally, you're over there doing fucking, you know, like somewhere like in Thailand, you know, doing fights to eat. You know, I've seen people who have gone to those countries, and then they tell me, like, war stories where it's like, yeah, man, I was stuck in Australia. I had to go work in a farm. And I'm like working a farm like bro you was here chilling how the hell are you gonna go to a third world country to work on a farm on the field like come on guys man like you guys gotta know how to do you know do things right man and have an exit plan man don't do things just all crazy like that man all right so make sure you have an exit plan always have your plane ticket to go back on your bank account no matter what, like it or not, you always got to have that because you don't know how things might go crazy, and especially in a third world country or like whatever, you freaking, you do graffiti in a bathroom, next thing you know, you're doing fucking 10, 15 years, like type of crazy countries like that, you know what I mean? So make sure you have an exit plan, man. All right, for those that don't know what happened yesterday, right, in yesterday's episode, <laughs> all right. Basically, I'm giving out free courses to you to me, right? To three lucky winners, which was Alan and Guy, uh, Joseph Sibolic, uh, Samuel Ranzel, and uh, Abdul Farwan, right? So, pretty much, you know, uh, Alan and Guy never reached out, never sent me a message, which means he didn't watch the video from yesterday, which is a no no. <laughs> now it's okay I understand sometimes you miss a video but I have to be fair with everybody here right so because he didn't get to see the video yesterday he missed out and you know Abdul Far one which was the next person as a backup winner he's gonna get the course it really saddens me it, it makes me feel bad because I know he probably wanted the the course but at the same time, it's only fair, man. I have to be fair with all the subscribers and all the viewers here. If you know, if you watch my videos, man, you get rewarded. You know what I mean? And I'm sorry, Alan, it's, it's not my fault. 
you know, I'll try to reach out to you, send you a comment. Never heard anything from you. It's already past 9 o'clock. So I try to give you even more time. But this is how it goes, man. So, you know, congrats to Joseph. Congrats to uh, Siamyong. Congrats to Abdo. Like, you guys are the three winners, right? And then Matthew Pickering and Flint Mayers, you guys are still backup winners, right? So, you know, I'm going to do some random numbers now. And I'm going to choose, you know, we're going to choose now some more people to win, right? So, let's say random number generator, right? We're going to do, there was 200 people. I think there was more. Yeah. Now today there was more. So it was 235. Sorry guys, numbers went up. More people signed up now. Alright? So let's see what happens. We're gonna choose three more people. 176, 195, and 50. 176, 195, and 50. Those are the winners of today, right? Now make sure you come here, you subscribe, right? You click subscribe, you click like, if you see a little bell, make sure you click the bell to be notified of like when I drop a video because if you miss out on these videos, man, and then the next day you don't answer back, that's it, I got to give the course to the backup winners, man, right? So when you do that, also click here, man, click on the show more, you see these courses, these are the courses that I basically say, hey, these are the ones that I actually took and helped me become a web developer. Right now, because I'm nice like that, and I'm cool like that with Udemy, thanks to you guys, they pretty much put it at $10. All right, so pretty much, I got the cheat codes, guys. I basically talked to the people from Udemy. They love me so much, thanks to you guys. Y'all been supporting this channel so much that pretty much they give me my own code. In my own code, I could basically give out the courses for $10. Like, courses that are $200 cost $10. So pretty much every course on the website is $10 right now. Make sure you check this link out. Click that. If you want to just buy a course, go ahead, buy it. Remember that when you buy a course, we get a certain percentage back to us. And that certain percentage I give back to other developers here. I'm the only person that does that. Nobody else here does that. Nobody else gives back on YouTube because everybody's all about me, 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 me. Me, I actually give back to people. You know what I mean? 50% is for my expenses. 25% is for you guys. 25% I got to pay taxes. That's how it is. All right? So you already know it's your boy Joe, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. Share this. And come on, guys. Don't miss out man like listen these courses are amazing it's ten dollars you can't go wrong um yeah that's about it man